one team. When it rains, it snores. Like a rare breed, a breath of fresh air, you can see me. People stand up just to greet me. Role model kids want to be me. It's all about the risk. If anyone pays taxes, instant pay. The whole thing was easy. What? Just come and wink my eye like a genie. Seven. I don't know, yellow oh, no. peasant can king me. I'm gonna die. Fuck <laughs> semantics. Fuck taxes. Revolt. Revolt, everybody. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Nickel City X-Wing. My name's Greg and I hope you like Empire because we got some Empire to put on your Empire dog. This is Mark aka Biddy Bumbo versus Shively. I should probably fix my dice cam. All that time to do it. Never thought about it once. There we go. Classic. Fires, birds versus five straight boosts. Chris, you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Chris, what's your favorite uh, pasta dish? Ooh. Hmm. I got two. And okay. I can never pick which one I like more. Right, um, well, I'm going to require you to. You can only say one here. I can only say one. Uh... Chicken fettuccine Alfredo. Representing the Firebird. <laughs> it's Mark, a.k.a. Biddy Bumbo, and his opponent, the captain of five straight boosts. It's Shively, Michael Shively. Turn one of this salvage mission. And I don't know who's really all that intent on picking up salvage here. Maybe the maybe the TIE fighter. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I'm thinking. But first, it it seems they uh they want to get away from Jenden and Vader. But why? I I, I don't know. <laughs> Two I sixes just screaming down the board. I mean, oh, and it looks like Faroff has the same strategy of get away from the uh, hard hitting ships. Does not compute. Yeah, pretty much. A pretty fast move. Yeah, Countdown just... I think Countdown's going to go for that middle objective. Those ships look a bit green. Might need medical attention. Got them. Yeah, I think they're uh they're almost too green. Goes for the lock. Won't be able to find it. Tries to put distress on the asteroid, which would be a coup. Wait, how do I undo a bet? I did it wrong. You don't. You bet what you you're, bet. You're locked into it. <laughs> Just bet against his captain. <laughs> so that's what you do. You always bet against your team. Because if you bet against your team, you don't lose. Oh, it's true. Smart. Smart play, dude. Either your team wins and you lose nickels, or your team loses and you win you nickels. You win nickels. It's a it's a win win. I should probably figure out who I'm gonna bet on. 
Well, I'm guessing you got about one turn to do it. One arm Billy and I think in the same way. Go 5SB, he says, betting against his captain. A little true grit action. Oh, we do have a Ooh. shot, though. It is range three obstructed. Or a classic one. And he gets one All right, turn two coming up. I think you should probably get your bets in. It looks like there will be combat this turn. I truly are that dude. Something inside me is weak. Chris? What's up? Tell me an opinion that makes me want to savor you down. But I'm not Noah. Tell me an opinion that makes me want to savor you down. Jean-Luc Picard is the best captain in all of Star Trek. No, I absolutely agree with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the, the Buffalo Sabres are a terrible team. No, I, I have eyes. I agree with that as well. <laughs> Josh Allen should get traded to the New York Giants. Motherfucker. <laughs> I don't I don't believe what I just said at all. But Some some Chicago food is goaded, Nick. Not all. Name one piece of Chicago food that's good. Uh, <sighs> go ahead. Name one thing. <laughs> Let me go to Google to see what I can find. Uh... Let's see, what food is Chicago famous for? Honestly, this sounds kind of good. The he burrito. The, I'm sorry, the what? The he burrito. Describe whatever this fuck you just said. The Hebrew combines a protein, usually steak, 
with garlicky, garlicky mayonnaise, fresh tomato slices, lettuce, onions, and cheese. Instead of bread, two flat, crispy slices of fried plantain br- uh, bind the inside. So it's a steak sandwich. Yeah, but according to this list, the steak sandwich is a different thing altogether. So you're... It's a steak sandwich. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, but it's not as good as a Philly cheesesteak. So the best Chicago can offer us is a steak sandwich. Yeah, because, I mean, the pizza's not good, the the hot dogs are subpar at best. So, so yeah, a, a steak sandwich. Okay. I'm sorry, Nick. I, I'm, 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 yeah. You don't have to apologize to him. <laughs> the pizza is not good. If I wanted tomato soup, I'd get a can of Campbell's tomato soup. Yeah. We're talking about favorite Italian dishes. Nix's deep dish pizza. <laughs> Public enemy number 47. <laughs> Makes me think of... uh. Okay, sorry, I'm going to go back to the game for a second. Darth Vader picking up a crate. Um, okay. Well, I would 100% take this on fair off. Knock that crate off. Deny a point. Yeah, yeah. But I'll, I'll tell you what, Nick. Um, Adepticon in 2025. Because I'm I'm not able to come this year. You show me a good Chicago style pizza, one that I'll actually like, Doesn't and I sense. will I will say, like on a on a Nickel City or a three one two stream that Chicago $3 style sign. pizza, three one dollar sign that uh Chicago style pizza is good. But until then, I will stand by. That uh, Chicago style pizza is uh, just tomato soup with added toppings. Oh my god, he has a new made token, thankfully. But we almost saw another one shot, and almost certain oh. Uh, oh. Tie Fighters about to die here, to Darth Vader. Voted best by who? Voted best by who? Uncultured uh, food critics? Yeah, voted best by Nick Sperry Magazine. (laughs) Like I said, uncultured food critics, also known as people who go on Yelp. And have never had a have never had a dollar slice in the city. It clinging to a Yelp top 10 list is sad. I know. I know it's all, oh, my two-point ship, but we'll take it. Well, it's all my two-point ship, but it's like the first shots of the game. Yeah. You, you lost a ship already. God. Dead. Oh, Shidesley locked the bomber. The I, title oh, I of guess... that is Yelp list ranks Chicago Pequod's Number one pizza in country. You know what? I'll I'll look at this. I'll send it all.
Veracruz. Fire control system, I guess. Instead of I guess. Running lock. Okay. And then this is countdown in the fair off. Fair off gets the auto evade. So that is going to be one on fair off. One face down to Tomax. Shooting countdown is pretty pointless. But we're going to do it anyway. I think I would have gone into Merrick here. Chris, what's a reputable food critic source that you would accept? A reputable food critic source that I would accept. My own taste buds. <laughs> uh, aside from my own taste buds, um, I'll take the stress and a shield. And none of that damage will go through. I've been to Chicago. I've been to Chicago. My aunt and uncle lived in Chicago. I had the pizza. I wasn't a fan. Oh, Nick, that backfired on you, huh? I've never been to Pequot's, if that's what you're about to say. Yeah, I've never been there. We went there last year with Nick. I suspect we'll probably have to go there again. It was fine. As like an ambiance place. The pizza was miss. I don't, it's, in, it's in like the wrong order. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like crust sauce cheese. Oh, you guys went to Luminati's. No, we went to Pequot's. Don't want to talk you down. Oh, okay. He's, he's just trying to save face. He likes to lie. <laughs> so Faroff is going where? I mean, that's a part great of me, question. Part of me says a one hard right. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about the game all you want, Andre. We may choose to ignore it. <laughs> Andre is invested because his draft pick, Mark. Damn it, Andre. Quit distracting from the stream. Greg, I just wanted to let you know that you're, you're, you are the liar. Just wanted uh, you to know. You're a liar. Why are you, why are you coming here saying I'm a liar when you're just lying to people? You're lying we, to people. There's no equads in Schomburg. Y'all are trolling. Which is why we were in Chicago. We never went there, dude. <laughs> We've never been there. We 100% went there. It was a whole group. Scooter was there. He can back me up. Oh, my God. This is so painful. I don't remember. Was we were Aaron not. There? No, Aaron we were might have been stronger. there. It was a whole group. Uh, of Chris, I expect better from you, by the way. Fucking... I'm calling you out. I'm on the couch watching the game right now, but I got to call you both out. because. So so I'm, I'm, I'm going to send you a picture. And you tell me if this is Chicago style. If it's Chicago style, then I, I will say what I will Where did say. you go? Where did you go? Uh, in Chicago, I don't remember. I was like 12 years old. Um, but so, there's, a, there's a place up by my, my uh, grandma uh, okay. that it's not deep dish, but they do um, sausage. Like they do sausage and cheese, then they do sauce, and then they put uh, grated cheese on top of it. And so that it's I deep like. dish with sauce an extra is... set. It's deep dish without this... being deep dish. Well, that it just sounds, sounds like, like an inverted dish. pizza. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like I said, I don't, I don't think like it inverted is. pizza. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I don't get it. I'll post it in the Discord, and and I'll let everyone be the judge. Right. Of this. Here's. 
I'm gonna I'm 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 put my two cents in and then I'll leave so you guys can keep shitting on me in the chat uh, from, and I'll be in the chat. So here's my take. Okay, ready? You can go to a really good burger restaurant and have a really good burger or you can go to Wendy's and have a bad burger and there are places in Chicago that have bad deep dish pizza and there are places in Chicago that have good deep dish pizza and you maybe have gone to a bad one and here's, Greg has never been to Pequod's and that is it. Here's, here's the response. Uh, you can go to a place and have bad liver and onions or you can go to a place and also have bad liver and onions because good liver and onions doesn't exist, which is much the same as Chicago deep dish pizza. A good version of it doesn't exist. It's true. The best Chicago deep dish is worse than the worst regular pizza. I hope your wedding is very good, but not the best. Just, that is so <laughs> passive aggressive. Just the right amount of spite. Is someone upside down country? I should know. If it's upside down deep dish pie, it's still a pie. Uh, Nabi, no offense, but considering all the food in Australia tries to kill you, Maybe we don't take advice. Real, real important question for you, Nobby, because I've heard that uh, that this is a delicacy down in Australia. I have heard fried that kangaroo? Uh, that fried kangaroos is really good. Can you confirm or deny that fried kangaroo is very good? Fried kangaroo with a little koala gravy. That I don't know about. I've just heard that fried kangaroo is actually pretty good. And that, like, the government pays you to kill kangaroos. I can tell you that emu tastes like bacon. Can you, though? Because you guys lost a war to the emus. It's true. Hey, it's, hey, like one of the, it's like one of the only wars uh, Australia's been in, and uh, they lost to a bunch of... Uh, of birds. Or was that New Zealand? No, nope, that is <laughs> Australia. Ah. Huh. Ah, uh, the great emu war. <laughs> we don't talk about the emu war. <laughs> Why is this four dice? Who's shooting? That was Jenden. Oh, he, uh... Oh, he did the shield thing. He, he spent the shield to make it a range one. Well, that's neat. They're moving so fast, I can't keep up. Yeah, I can't either. Guys, it's okay. You can slow down, really. Oh, it's a direct. And another direct! Four big damage into Tomax. Sitting on one after taking a double direct hit. All right, what I miss? I'm actually at my computer now. Double uh, direct hit. Nice. Double direct hit into Tomax. Uh, Tomax sitting on one, and then tries to put paint into Merrick and can't do it. I gotta pull the game up again. Bets are now open. It says maybe we should go ahead and close that. <laughs> yeah, open them now. <laughs> open the floodgates. Oh my God, Merrick just fucking crushed the dreams. Hold on. You're picking every yeah. single one of these. So let me explain something. 
Deep dish pizza That's the is not shot, only dude. not better than New York yes, pizza. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so it's exciting. You have no idea how exciting it is when you're a player. See that? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please. I need a direct. I need it. Yes! There it is! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> only only one ship in. <laughs> oh my god five six seven eight nine ten eleven cards did he wait did he make him pick the cards to overkill him like he yeah. made his opponent still go through all the cards that's i, that's I went move. down to their channel and said you're picking all of these Oh, okay, okay. I would. I, I feel like that's such bad sportsmanship to force somebody to go through each. <laughs> uh, only Merrick could be a ship that could one shot an eight an eight hole ship. Like it is possible. Only Merrick could do something like that. Obviously, you didn't watch the last game where. Uh... Oh yeah! Uh, Christ. Fucking fucking wedge and loot. Oh, I one I shot. watched that game. I watched. Well, the 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 four hits and a crit into a yeah uh, blank out from the bomber. I was like, yeah, it's yeah. very possible to get one shot. It that's that's rough. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I if I was if I was Deathfire there, I was the Deathfire player. I'm like, yeah, I'd expect to get one shot in here. Like, I just blanked out. I crit last crit under the hole. One hole left. Direct. Yeah, sure. <laughs> By the way, Chris, I don't. I I'm sorry that you had to eat that pizza, dude. I don't know what that is, but that looks unpleasant. To, to oh, it's delicious! It's absolutely. It was, delicious. It was good. Why are you shitting? I, okay, so now I'm just trying to understand. You're just a hater, then, right? Like you liked it, but like you're just a hater, anyways. Well, <laughs> what the fuck is this? So the the pizza this looks like sure. a grocery store pizza. So the pizza I shared is from uh, Clinton, Clinton, New York. Oh, um, that, okay. I thought you said you were in Chicago and you got that, and then you said, "Is this deep dish pizza?" No, no, confused. I was, I was <laughs> genuinely curious <laughs> if you'd classify that as Chicago style. But oh. I, I got it from upstate New York. I don't and, classify that as fucking anything. Yeah, that's. It's it's something my my uh before my grandpa passed away he and I would get every time I went and visited so well, listen, it's I don't, I don't want to shit on the memory of your grandpa but yeah right. oh you can shit on stop, the pizza stop just it there, Greg. stop it there Greg don't say any more <laughs> you, you can you can shit on the pizza I don't care because I like the pizza and now Chris and Chris finally understands how I feel yeah now I do. Although I do care because I'm freaking triggered. The the hill I will die on. <laughs> like I I am willing to give Chicago Deep Dish a, a chance. Um I guess I'm always surprised that people say it's bad, like it actually tastes bad. It doesn't taste bad at all. No, I it really like, does. When it. they use the cornmeal crust, oh my god, I hate that. Only some places do that, so it's not everywhere. But yeah. I literally like, like don't like bad <laughs> I, I get it I, it's like the way it's made is not like for you i i respect that but like the same it's like it's bad i was like what what no i the oh, cornmeal no, crust one is bad straight up bad the cornmeal crust did lose did lose do that i don't think lose does that no it wasn't it was, lose. It was in celebration when, when i was in chicago for celebration we went to a place that was like right by uh -huh. i think i'm pretty sure it was just like a chain like it's not, probably like a, Giordano's or Gino's. Both of those are bad. Like, I, like actually, it's by the bad. convention center. It's like walking distance from the convention center. Anyway, it, it was oh, the cornmeal crust really threw me yeah, off. I hated it so much. Yeah, P Pequod says like a burnt like they like they like char like a cheese into their crust. It's like a the thing that they do. Super good. Okay, that that I like. That sounds good. The the, the thing with um with with uh, deep dish is I'm not a big fan of like a lot of tomato sauce, and there's just so much tomato sauce. Well, Lou, well, yeah, well, so Gino's East is the chain that is pretty well known in Chicago for having like a very thick layer of tomato sauce. 
but then like there's a couple of well-known chains um well lose lose is my personal favorite of the chains that do like fresh like crushed tomato so it's like juicy but it's not like saucy it's just like i hate um, i hate tomato like chunks of tomato i hate that yeah that's that's too bad man i I really enjoy like fresh fresh tomatoes like the like actual like good crushed tomato it's it's a good texture i like it but um it's not like a ton of sauce it's just i guess juicy or whatever some people may don't like that i get it but it's not bad just not for you (laughs) why do you oh i guess he had to because it's a striker not optional yeah it's like why would you Ailerons there, but also I'd like to throw tomato vodka sauce in the ring for best pasta dishes. I guess rigatoni is my favorite personally, but I really like um the best pasta overall. I really like tortellini. Um, but the best pasta sauce. It... You said Alfredo, right? I so I like Alfredo as a dish. Um. Yeah. Now, do you put broccoli in your chicken, Alfredo? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. I feel like you gotta have the broccoli, or it's like... Yeah, it's just... broccoli just adds a, a whole element to it. If you want to be the most bloated you could ever be, then an, an Alfredo dish is absolutely the call. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's, so, it's so heavy. It's yeah. so heavy. If you have an intolerance, you will probably kill yourself. Oh, oh, I, I have. <laughs> I have such an intolerance. Yeah. It is good though. I don't dislike Alfredo, but like over the years, I've been more and more cognizant of how awful it makes me feel after I eat it. Like it is a level of bad. That yeah. is just it's so unpleasant. It's like yeah. oh. I, it, it's heavy enough where I really don't order it anymore. Yeah, so I don't need it. Anymore, it but... I would. I would rather like just a regular spaghetti and meatballs and like feel okay. Sure. Yeah. If if I'm like out with friends, then. I I won't put them through the suffering of uh me eating Alfredo. But like if I'm just out, you know, by myself and uh whatever, then yeah, I'll I'll have uh This is going to be a five dice proton cannon. Oh boy. Oh, that's that's This is not, the real Alfredo. That's all right. That's uh, yeah. But um here is oh. range two bullseye, so five v one. That's what I was gonna say. I've had a oh tort- kingdom for a focus here. Tortellini Alfredo with a uh, uh the, um crab and broccoli. Really good. Can't you uh, convert an oh eyeball to a crit? Oh my god! Yeah, you can. Yeah. The oh, full there you go. potato Jesus. and extra toppings. See ya. <laughs> and he rolled. <laughs> Down <laughs> goes Vizier. So what is with what is with these absolute bangers of shots? Like I'm wondering if we're gonna get a close game tonight, because it might be up to JJ and I to try to make that happen. This is a close pretty game close game. Tonight, close it's game eight to today. seven. What do you mean? It, it what are you talking about? It's eight to seven. I'm this is going to be two v. It should be two v three, right? Uh, yeah. Range the same, but gets the evades, gets the spaghetti. And fair off should get to shoot. That oh, that is a oh, rough proposition. Countdown does have range two in the fair off here. Are the manufacturers of proton cannon willing to accept a firebird endorsement? Yeah, probably. So that's gonna be one damage into. Oh no, it's not because fair off already has a evade still. But the tyranny of one agility. Fair off down to five. Fair off gonna take the four dice banger into countdown. We'll do a shield or we'll do one damage at most here. Yep. And 
Depends to calculate for two. Countdown as the evade token rolls one. Yes, fair enough, did trigger triple zero. And wisely, uh, Biddy Bumbo has been selecting. So going Vader Vader Mara countdown going against Faroff Vader Jendon. That is uh, that's a that's a tall order. It's tough. We had three there. Yeah, I was just about to say how does Shai is... have eleven points? So Tomax is three. Let's say so must have had three last turn. I must have just missed that timing there. So three, three ship kills, eight scenario, three, three, three. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then three and four, seven. Okay, got it. This is an interesting position for Shively to be because in terms of what his damage dealers are, it doesn't square up well against what Mark has, but Mark can't play the objective, really. He can try, but it's not really feasible in terms of trying to use his big guns. So... Yeah, it's an interesting spot to be in for Shively because it's like he might not be able to get any more damage in this game. If he is shooting and getting damage, it's probably into the Reaper. Yeah. I mean, both of them are in really awkward positions because. Like, it's I, funny. It's awkward for everybody involved. Yeah. But at least Shively has a countdown's worth of points uh, of a lead. Yeah, and and. In this next round, Shively, I think, wants to be second player. Just just so his Vader doesn't bump into uh in the Mark's Vader. Greg, is it cool if I join as a spectator? Oh, he's gone. I'm just gonna join anyways. Oh. That's what I do. He'll he'll be back. <laughs> yeah. And those games last night on our on on three one two were like rough as well, like a lot of bloodbaths it seems so far. Yeah. Well, we choose a violence of, here at Nickel City X Wing. Sure do. A lot of the games I've been looking at the scores from or uh, anything like that have just been either super one sided or like unreasonably close. Yeah, or like, well, there's been a lot of games that have, have been like less than 14 points scored from both opponents, which is yeah. seems rare these days. Um, like 10, I think there was a 13 to 12. There was a 10 to 7, which is really interesting. I mean, Kess's game was 15 to 9. Like, yeah, that, that score, once you hit 15, it's it's more like I can... That is interesting. I wonder what scenario he played that neither got to 20. At least that score like makes more sense. I don't know. Yeah. They oh were boy. both in the uh, first order from what I saw. Oh, okay. boy. Merrick is about to get hit relatively hard looks like mark is just gonna try and brace out the damage yep yeah i think that's that is what you have to do i think with jen and lists and that's a lot of pressure to put on yourself um i think it's fun the challenge is fun but uh if you're if you like playing objectives it's just think it's hard to play jen and a jen and good jen and list uh, Yeah, it's it's like what um you like you like the afterburners, but you certainly can't. Yeah. Oh, it'd be so nice if you could, though, man. Just Thank throw that know. lock on yeah. on Jenden. Just go yeah. all in on Jenden. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta. He's already taken some damage. Like let let countdown tank Vader shots and just put everything into Jenden and. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um Merrick is Merrick full health right now. You so palp is gone, so you don't have that to help him. 
So he right. and he does have shield. Oh, he has one shield down. So it's gonna be hard to kill him here with this one shot, but we'll see. Yeah. That's where Jenin should be really careful, though. But although uh, Merrick does not have Jenin locked, never mind. So it's not as scary. So hit, hit crit into countdown, which I'm sure will just end up being yep, one damage. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you got to have more than one shot in the countdown if you want to do anything. Now, I do believe Jendin will get a re-roll here. Oh, goodness. With, uh, no, With escape. no escape. Yeah. I think you spend it. Even if there's only, if there's, I think it was his lock he had to spend. I don't know. No, he didn't spend his lock. No. It, oh, that's it, a good roll from, all things considered, that's a decent roll. It is a decent roll, but he your, does have to drop crate. the crate, and that's probably yeah. pretty good. So, no escape. If there are more friendly ships than other enemy ships at range zero to one of the defender, so you count that counts yourself. Yes, yeah, it counts more but, with it, which is but, great. But we're but the, the, he's not more than he's still just one ship, right? So how is he more than one? Than greater because zero. there's no there's no other friendly or no other enemy ships uh, zero to one of merit. I feel like they could have worded both of those abilities, the rebel and imperial ones, a little bit better than, than no other part confuses me it's okay. it's a trap because there it's... are more friendly ships than within other enemy ships it's like oh yeah other enemy ship it's a trap is is clear it's a trap is just if there's more uh friendly Friendlies ships than enemy enemies. Yeah. yeah it's like isn't it like blount's ability but it's defensive basically yeah no, yeah it's oh, basically no, blount right. adds a die sorry blount's a re yeah. blount's a re uh adding a die that's a reroll. I don't think Blount cares how many. It's just like anyone in range one. Yeah, if there's oh, that's, if that's there's... true. It just has to be somebody friendly at range yeah. one. Yeah, not 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 that close actually. <laughs> that he has close. he has the uh, the Gemmer ability from one point but on offense. Yeah. Did you know Gemmer was in one point Nick? I didn't. I I barely played one point at all. So. Ooh. Ooh. So you used to get to use his ability at least. Hit crit into Faroff. Faroff's gonna take a crit. Ooh. All got a couple great ones here. Do you take blinded or do you take weapons failure? I think you'd rather weapons, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say you take weapons. You could cause... still just natty three hits. <laughs> I'd rather him natty two hits. Right. Countdown into Vader. No offense to mods here for countdown, but that's not why he's here. Okay. <laughs> okay, Vader. Calm down, buddy. Two dice now into Merrick. And I'm going to go for one. Gets the spaghetti, evades. Yeah, you would think that for no escape, you would need another ship, like a second ship, friendly ship to yourself. Yeah. It seems a little too easy to get off otherwise. It seems yeah. unfair that the Imperial, like, ability is counts you and then the Rebel one doesn't. Yeah. Yep. But I, I just imagine it as um it would it would have been a a annoying but decent Vader ability for uh Battle of Yavin. Cause he you know, he hunts the the um rebels down in the trench run. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think I think part of it is that rebels have so many ships that can double mod, it feels like evening up a little bit. Yeah. 
So does does Merrick do something like a five straight barrel roll? We know, like, you know that, you know where Veroff's going to be. We're probably expecting a 4K from Jenden. And if you three hard Merrick, that's also not a bad call, but you will get still get shot at by its weapons failure, fair off. So I don't know how scary that really is, but just in terms of avoiding shots here, I'm wondering. I mean, if you, you five if straight you, focus blink roll behind the rock. If you kill fair off, you basically just win the game. So how much does fair off have left though? Still a decent amount of health or what are we looking at? Four health. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, I think leave it to Vader then leave it to to Shively's Vader to try to make that happen. I, 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 I don't I, see I, how Mara clears a maneuver to get a shot into fair off. Be honest. I mean, yeah, it depends how fast fair off goes. Well, yeah, I mean, if I'm Mark, I probably do with a two bank is blue on that dial. I'd probably do the two bank. If you do a one bank, you, you do open up yourself to get hit by by yeah. Merrick. Merrick still has. Yeah, Merrick only took one shield that last engage, so he's still got four hit points left. It's pretty solid. Yeah, I think you just have. Uh... I, I wouldn't even say have Merrick run down on Vader, but like at the same time. You don't you don't want to get shot by a uh, proton cannon from uh, Jenden. So I think you just need to go fast. Yeah. And... If you if you if you do yeah if you do hard turn I think the proton cannon just gets lined up. Yeah. Easier. Me too. Oh yeah no one okay. speed is is good enough yeah. Yeah. I mean I, I guess a one straight from Eric I think that still bumps. Yeah, it looks like it would. Yeah. And just jam them anyways. So I mean, yeah. I don't hate that. Yeah, not bad. I mean, hey, you, you, your your gun is kind of offline a little bit. Like you're not going to rely on it as much. So jam is good. Countdown well, he, to try to block Vader. So he's not going straight fast then because... Oh, he banked. Okay, gets the block. And Jenden 4K looking mighty nice here. Very nice. 4K focus lock. <laughs> oh, Vader oh bombs. no. Won't be able to target lock. Yeah, you needed that lock. Oh, you needed it so bad. So you're hoping a range one unmodded. Well, not, not purely unmodded, but range one and range zero. Well, he's got... He doesn't have a lock. Where's Vader's lock? No, I'm just saying, like, Vader's... I'm saying, like, he has his force for his mods, but I'm just, like, to be able to kill Faroff, he's relying on two subpar shots. No, someone in chat was saying that. Oh, gotcha. Sorry. Gotcha. This is interesting for Jenden now. Because you could... You have the bullseye on Vader? No. The bullseye is perfectly split. Oh, he grabbed he grabbed a crate. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't hate it. You kind of need to start getting points here. Yeah. So Faroff gains the calculate again. Faroff only fired three dice into Vader because of the weapon's failure. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say you have to go into Faroff here. Open for some paint. Mm. Pretty okay. good. Okay. Okay. Pink crit. All right. Fair off uh, gets the auto evade. One crit is a damage sensor, right? Who cares? Yeah, that's a. Uh... So Merrick wants to roll, hit crit, pick. Well, that still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> it's a fair off's ability. One crit. Countdown has the evade. This is the shot here. You're probably yeah, not going to kill Merrick, but you can get him on the ropes. Mm 
Oh, nice. Oh. Free reroll. No, I think no escape is a blank only. So you have to actually spend your life. Oh. It, you, you are correct. Oh. Not great, Bob. Still three. Oh, oh there it is. There's the Merrick I, I, I know. Yeah. Merrick is very similar to Wedge in those ways. <laughs> Well, America's going to be down to one, and now I'm wondering if Faroff is going to take the two dice range zero in America. No, you got it for sure. You're down by five. You do it. You're down by Then the you're one. tied up. All right. First range zero. In two. Right. Ooh, two. I'm going to get another one in. God, Faroff's so good. It's just like, oh, no green token. Auto of it. Auto of it. Oh, this is range zero from countdown. This has actually been a really good game. I, I uh, take back what I said earlier about this game being lopsided. Never was. <laughs> one hit, one, uh, two of hits. Yeah. So, still a five point lead. So, you got an extra point of cushion once you lose Merrick. Yeah, and you you just have to get uh, Fair off out of there now. So, the question is, does it does countdown? Oh, that's I don't know. Is that too, too risky? Is it risky to try to get to turn around to like boost and then like sloop? I'm wondering where Jendon ends up, you know, because he doesn't have a straight shot past the rock. He can't, he can go, you can just force straight again if he wants, though. I think if you're putting your shots into countdown, you are conceding the game. So, well, no, but countdown, countdown would be stressed in that situation. That's so why I'm wondering if it's worth it because that, oh, it's that not is worth way, it at all. way more. No, at that yeah, point, I'm just, yeah, if, if countdown I'm just thinking, stressed, like, yeah. how does how does Shively try to threaten Faroff here? Because I don't think he, he can't afford to have Merrick turn around. Vader could 4K. I feel like, yeah, Vader's got to... Oh, but then, but then uh, Mark's Vader is there, but he is stressed. He doesn't really care, though. He'll just bank. I think he's one banking. Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's just... <laughs> just, just, just that's like can afford to lose a crate right now. It's the thing. You have thing. to kill Merrick this turn. You have to. Like, it's non-negotiable that you kill Merrick this turn. Because if you lose Faroff, that's four points, and you've basically lost the game. So Faroff has to get the fuck out. So then does Merrick... Where, where can Faroff go that's safe? Uh, the only thing I could see Faroff doing is possibly a two bank to the left. Yeah, but what's then, wrong with, with why, why would yeah. Vader not just turn right? Yeah, that's what, why. What's what, is it really bad if Faroff stops? I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't think it is. It doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. Yeah, I just think I that kind of blocks Jendon. That just blocks where Jendon wants to go to get... Because he wants to do a three, right? To get free lock. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh there it is. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, no, sorry. He essentially does the equivalent of a stop, but he wisely dials in a maneuver that gives him a focus still. Which oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Down. Which is solid. Yeah, and Shively doing what I figured he was going to do, and that's just yeah, run away. Could this be a one bank from Jenden? It's got to. It's got to be right. Why would it, yeah. Just, just... Yeah, there's that. There's that K turn. Another range one shot with no lock into fair off. Gets that that block, which is solid. Yeah, you could one bank on Proton Cannon. Merrick has just for overkill. Boom. 
Oh, wait. Does he have bullseye? Mm, doesn't look like it, actually. It's no. close. But... I mean, you're you're not worried about Vader, because Vader's going to shoot at Faroff. Yep. So it'll be one chance to, to kill Merrick here. Um, yeah. With a modded shot, at least. I know that yeah. Vader will have a shot at range zero. Triple zero goes off. Vader are going to go into... Fair off. Fair yep. off gets the evade. If this is three, it's dead. Fair off yep. dies. I think that's, that's game. game. Isn't that game? Yeah. yeah, that's game. Wow. Look at Shively. Nice. It does warm my heart to see Jed and Liz lose because these are the things that I think they struggle with is objectives a little bit. Not in bullseye. So just three dice. That was close. Fairly close. So, um,. Gonna spend the shield to make it four. Nice. That is a full potato and a dead Merrick. Hey, you got something. Oh, what a good roll, too. That's a great roll. Not enough, though. Yeah, well, would have been if you couldn't, you didn't have a defender that could spend shields to roll extra attack dice. <laughs> Vader gonna try and, I guess, knock a crate off. The other Vader, too bad you can't get it off countdown. Won't be able to. Nice. Natty base. Nice. Again, again. GG's. And it will be 21 16, your final. Shively for five straight boost will pull it out. Two ships left on each side. Everyone holding crates. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's also really interesting. Yeah, really. I mean, that game just came yeah. down to kind of wasted shots on countdown, I think, maybe. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's hard to, like, criticize anything. This feels like the second game in a row where it's, like, nothing really stood out as, like, crazy. Yeah, I mean, Mark just didn't have enough. Like, he had a vulnerable, medium base, low initiative, one agility ship, and then one easy to kill i5 with just six health naked hole and then two great i6s and it, it ends up being like a a three you know th three and a half ship list that's yeah. that's a tall order for salvage for sure all right we'll be back with game three in just a few stick around this is nickel city x